as I mentioned in the last video if you do not acknowledge your purchase the money will be refunded within three days let's do the acknowledge part first so I go into handle purchase method and after if I say if this purchase is acknowledged I don't want it to be acknowledged so if it's not acknowledged do this as usual first of all I need a, a param a param of the type acknowledge purchase param so equals acknowledge purchase params that new builder that set purchase token and then I get the token the purchase token from the purchase itself and then that build and then I I gonna use billing client again and then I'm gonna call acknowledge purchase what it requires it's a, it's a params of the type acknowledge parents and then new acknowledge purchase response listener yeah this is the one that i'm looking for unacknowledged purchase response should be implemented so here i say if the billing result that get response code as usual equals okay do this I'm just gonna say a toast a purchase acknowledge so that is how we acknowledge a purchase using acknowledge purchase well the purchase is acknowledged so it will not be refunded after three days but what if a user purchased your product and I want to use the same product on another device for example another phone or another tablet how do you know what products the user purchased the first method to use is to use billing client dot query purchases and the, and the second one is to use query purchase history async so what is the difference between them query purchases I mean the first one uses the Play Store app cache to get the results but query purchase history async actually checks the purchase AP for the most recent purchases even if that purchase is expired cancelled or consumed so in this scenario we're going to use query purchases and also it doesn't initiate a network request to get the list of purchases I have also the code for query purchase history async commented out in the source code that I put in my github you can refer to that for reference so in my query SKU details async and then on is on SKU details response after I'm making sure that this is the product that I'm looking for I can say billing client that query purchases and then I pass the type of SKU that I'm looking for for this video I'm going to use in app but you can also use subs for subscriptions I want to store this one in a variable but what is the return value of query purchases the return value is purchase dot purchase result let's see what we have in this result result dot we have the option of getting the list of purchases and get billing result and get response code what I need right now is the first one that returns a list of purchases so it will return a list of purchases I'm gonna 
loop in this list of purchases and look for my product to make sure that it is bought by the user first of all I'm gonna get this KU of the purchase and then if this is KU equals my SKU or my product I'm gonna define a flag called is owned equal false and then if I, f I found my product here I can say is owned equals true so I can break out of the for loop but before that I want to give someone to the user for example I, I want to say you are a premium user or you have your your pack of gems or or lives for the game and also I want to make the purchase button invisible because there is no need to that button after this for loop I just check my flag to make sure that the user does not own this product so I can say if it is not owned by the user do this and then I can put everything related to the button and and the purchase button can be put inside that if statement yeah that's right in this way if the user already bought the product there is no need to buy it again unless it is a subscription or a consumable product uh, for that one I'm gonna explain everything in my next videos if you like this video just give it a thumbs up and support me by subscribing to my channel